when uh, Gerd Harden published his paper in Science in 1968 on the tragedy of the commons, I thought, gee, he has just made this up. Because he talked, <laughs> well, he talked, imagine a pasture open to anyone. It wasn't, here's my data. It is imagine a pasture open. Um, and in that imagined pasture, uh, people didn't talk. They just uh, put as many animals on as they possibly could because uh, whatever uh, was uh, left to eat, um, uh, somebody else would grab. So they weren't interested. Well, that became almost like a religion. And the presumption was that humans were helpless and that they had to have a government tell them how to do this and take over or make it private, privatize it. So, but an external authority had to come in and do it as if the external authority had people in it who had different genes. <laughs> well, I mean, the people in the pastorists are real people. People in government are real. Uh, we, and we have to be thinking, this is part of our challenge in, as economists and political economists, of uh, we were trying to keep our original models as simple as we possibly could. Mm -hmm. That there was a reason for it. And there was some bait breakthroughs and some very important work that was accomplished. Um, and for some simple situations, that theory works. We should keep it for the right situation. But there's so many other rich situations where people are trying to problem solve, and sometimes they do terrible things to one another, and it, it isn't just. But that can be at small, or medium, or large, or very large, or international. Mm -hmm. Just like sometimes people solve problems at small, very large, medium size, very large, and very large. And we've just got to get our language and our theories to cope with those kinds of problems rather than just the oversimplified ones that are in the textbooks sometimes.